Are you a free-to-play account and you want to get yourself a bond to experience the game to the fullest? Well, if that is you and uh, you don't know how to make money in free-to-play, this series is going to guide you step-by-step -step from a level 3 account with zero skills to an account that can afford the bond from strictly free-to-play money makers and free-to-play combat training and then transition the account into a pay-to-play account. So hopefully you guys will enjoy the series and let's get right into it. Let's just uh, go straight to, to the mainland and start with our first money maker. All right, so we are in Lumbridge and the first thing I want to do is kill some chickens. Now, this account is going to be mainly ranged mage based, meaning that I have a very, very like, um, I have a specific training location in mind and I'll do basically everything to reach to the point where I can be on that location efficiently. All right, so first things first, we're gonna kill a couple of chicken uh, with basically just the basic arrows that we have and then we're gonna get ourselves the first 10k from the stronghold of security. All right, I killed a little bit of chickens, made my way to the Grand Exchange and Grand Exchange is, well, all the way in Varrock. Now, if you're wondering how to reach this place, obviously you might be a new player, when you start the game, you spawn in Lumbridge, and then you just run right, you run north, you run north, follow this path, you go left here, so you do not go past Dark Wizards, because here is where a lot of people die. You go all the way left right here, and then you go all the way up next to the left wall, and you reach Grand Exchange, perfect. I picked up some bones while killing um, chickens. And we're going to quickly make a little bit of money, very quick money, we're gonna buy some food and we're gonna get ourselves 10k from Stronghold of Security. For those unfamiliar, once again, Barbarian Village is located just a little bit left of Varrock. And all you have to do in order to get your first 10k is go down here, follow the maze, answer a couple of easy questions and then claim the chest in the middle for the money. So let's do that really quickly. All right, perfect. First chest, I just went through a like two minute process to enable my, my authenticator on the account. If you don't know what it is, you log into old school RuneScape, Auto RuneScape, basically official RuneScape site. You click on the account, you set your authenticator, and then you have a two step verification over your phone. So your account is way more secure that way. And after you're done with all of that, you can then claim your rewards. I'm gonna assume I have to log back in um, because I literally just set it up. And we can get our 10, there it is, and we can get our 10, um, our 10k right now. So first chest, let's claim our, I think this is 2k, the next one is 3k, yeah, 2k, next one 3k, and then 5k. I'm actually a little bit special, and I forgot to claim the chest in the middle, uh, but I'm gonna go all the way down and get the best boots in the game as well. Uh, especially for free to play. Uh, I mean only for free to play. So we're gonna go around this area Which is a little bit more dangerous, but with the amount of food we have we should be fine And then we're gonna get the best in slot uh, boots and here we are this took no time at all and we're gonna choose the fancy boots because they are uh, The best all right, let's go claim that uh, 3k I missed in the middle um, but hopefully I think we are now able to use teleports because once you get through this place once I'm pretty sure there you go You can use a shortcut, which is pretty nice So this will take me an extra 10 seconds uh, for me just not uh, thinking about it uh, I was going through it pretty brain dead and I cannot do this because I don't fuck All right, well took me I guess three minutes more um, Now that we have 10k cash, let's go buy some important stuff off the GE and start our training so first thing I want to buy on an account is Amulet of Power. Uh, once you buy this, you're probably never going to need to change it, ever. It is the best amulet for free-to-players. Maybe in some situations you want to have a strength amulet for when you're training melee, but outside of that, this amulet is all you really want. It's all you're ever gonna need as a free-to-play person. The next thing we're gonna buy, we're gonna focus on ranging first. So we're going to deposit our, our main bank, all of these things. We're never gonna need them again. Uh, since I'm gonna be killing chickens, they cannot damage me, I'll be banking these as well. We're gonna be buying a lot of bronze arrows and a little bit better equipment for when I'm higher level in range. Uh, and I can get all of those, well, not needed from the Grand Exchange, I'll get them from the archery shop in Verrock. I just wanted this amulet of power though. Alright, we will be buying some simple things from the archery shop in Verrock. Or oak shortbow, willow shortbow, maple shortbow, and the rest, well, we're gonna be buying bronze arrows. Um, in fact, it might be better to buy them off the GE. We're gonna quickly check. 
uh, usually just doing it like that. Uh, okay, no, uh, we're better off just buying them here. We are now level 5 range, which is awesome. We can now equip Oak Shortbow. We're just gonna drop the regular one. Uh, at this point, I am still just picking feather and Feathers and Bones, but soon when the inventory is full, I'm just gonna be picking up Feathers. I could then transition to Cows and uh, basically get Cowhide, tend the Cowhide to make some extra money, but I'm just gonna be here get myself uh, up to like 20 range as fast as possible and then we're gonna move on to a different location that will actually start making me some money while still uh, getting decent range XP so that is the goal um, and uh, yeah let's just uh, continue getting levels I sold my bones and I purchased a brass key which is a key that uh, that is required in order to enter the hill giant uh, place you can buy it for like 500 golds on the grand exchange or you can go all the way around from Edgeville um, get around basically the place and then get the key by yourself I'll show you the the spawn um, I'm not sure if this range level is good enough to even hit them but I'll give it a shot and get levels here, if not, I'll return to a different spot to get a couple of more range levels, but I just feel like AFKing heavily on this account, so I don't mind losing a couple of bronze arrows to start off with. Um, but yeah, we're gonna be at Hill Giants for a bit, make a little bit more money, and then uh, move to a different location if we feel like it. I'm very curious to see how many people in free-to-play are using this location, I'm assuming it's gonna be packed, and it is, so we're gonna have to find the world. Alright, there we go, we have completed our first trip at Hill Giants, I came here at level 7 range, which was really early, and uh, well, we're gonna check what level we are right now, but I got a nice little 10k cash, I mean, uh, that's not bad at all, 10k, and uh, we're 17 range, I'm actually gonna teleport home, and I will activate... Uh, the ability to automatically equip, equip uh, arrows when I pick them up. I'll show you how to do that in just a second. And then we're gonna make our way to the Varrock and actually train our magic up to 25 with the 10k that we just got. And then uh, with that, I'll then unlock the teleport spell to Varrock, which is really nice uh, because then I don't need to run all the way uh, to anywhere I really want at all times. So uh, let's talk to range combat instructor. Can you toggle my ammo equip when I pick it up and automatically equip it? It's that simple, really useful thing. Uh, let's get some uh, runes and get some magic trading going. Alright, I've been using Wind Strike until 13 magic and now I will be using Fire Strike till 25 magic and that's where I'll stop for the teleport to Varrock spell. Um, outside of that, I've just been killing Hill Giants and I will continue to do so until like 40 range, I think. It'll take a while, it'll give me a little bit of cash, every full trip is about 10k, so it's slow cash, but it's okay, it's like free XP basically, so yeah, I'll stay here for 25 uh, magic now. There it is, 25 magic, we can now teleport to Varrock, that is going to speed up the trips by quite a lot. And now we're back on range training for like, until like 40 basically, so... It's gonna be a while, but I'm looking forward to it. Also, a lot of questing. I might have to. I might just do all the free-to-play quests. Um, we'll see how it goes, though. All right, just finished another trip, and my gear currently is like that. So the only things I want to upgrade is get to 20 defense. I'm not gonna go for more than 20 defense because I don't feel like doing uh, Dragon Slayer yet. So I'll say 20 defense and I'll go range for 40, and then I'll be able to have the best gear that I'll be able to have. Does that make sense? I don't freaking know. But as you can see, boom, quick little money there, money here, money here. And uh, apparently I can't sell these yet because I need to do quests in order to be able to sell stuff, which I don't understand why that's still in the game. But it is, so not much I can do about it. Um, boom, boom, sell these two as well, because why not? And uh, we have 8k right now. Um, still have 1000 bronze uh, bolts or whatever, arrows, so that's pretty good. Um, let's get 40 range, I guess. It'll take a while. A little bit of an update on my free-to-play only account. I have been killing Ankus from just about level 30 range to 40 now, which is awesome because now I can upgrade my gear. Also, the next goal is to actually get 55 magic to use high alchemy, and then I can use the best combat-related moneymaker in the game. Obviously, I might do this... Uh, like with a little bit of time and do some different stuff in between but first of all we're gonna upgrade the gear sell some loot that we have uh, I'm gonna keep these mithril arrows because I will use them later on and uh, yeah not bad the account is starting to look pretty nice already
So I sold a little bit of stuff. Unfortunately, I cannot sell Mithril Ores because my account is not old enough. I think I can just complete a couple of quests or whatever to make it work. Uh, but I want to show you guys a money-making method that a lot of people are not aware of. Like in free-to-play, you can buy stuff from shops and then sell them a little bit over time in the Grand Exchange. And right now I just tried to buy a wizard hat for like 300, 400, 500 gold even, and nobody was selling them. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go to the shop, which is in Port Serim, buy a bunch of those and then sell them over time for a lot of money. Um, it will be a quick little investment, should take me just like 10 minutes maybe. And then if I sell each and every one for like 500 coins over time, uh, I'll take that. That's gonna be a nice little income and at the same time, I can also buy runes that I will then on use um, to cast my magic to 55. I will be using Fire Strike. It is the cheapest uh, all the way, basically. So should be fairly easy. Let's see how it goes. All right. So just to demonstrate what I had in mind a little bit earlier, it goes something like this. Uh, so I would hop a world. Usually I would use Rune Light or any client that I'm using. You can also just log out, hop and log back in or whatever, but nobody will be doing this. So you can do it like this, you know, just hop out. Uh, and hop to any worlds or if you have a client you have those nice little things on the side and you just click that make it a little bit faster doesn't really change much but it changes a little bit so if I do it full speed it'll go something like this and over time uh, you see it says that it's 180 160 but I couldn't buy one for 500 so what I'll try to do is I'll probably try to sell each and one for like 450 I'll, I'll, I'll see the price as I'm selling it uh, but this is gonna be a quick little money maker. I'll just hop a couple of worlds every time I pass this shop and uh, I'll buy both hats and then sell them on later. So it should be a very easy thing to do to get a quick little money. I don't know how viable this will be, uh, obviously later on or if more people were to do that. Um, but it is the best hat in the free to play so I assume people would always wanna buy it. We are now on my new training location and to quickly show you where this is, this is in the Corsair Cove. Now this area is very easy to reach. All you need to do is start the Corsair Curse quest. I would recommend you to actually finish the quest and in order to do that, I would recommend you to watch Slayer Music 1's guides. His guides are the best, but obviously if you do not want to complete fully the quest fully, you can literally just start it and uh, you will easily reach this place. Once again, I'll show you on the minimap. After you start the quest in Port Serim, you're gonna board the ship and you're gonna reach this place. And basically in this dungeon, you're able to kill these ogres. Now at the moment I spent like what, 30K to buy all the runes and I'm AFK editing right now. As I'm shooting these, it's gonna get me nice magic experience. I might lose a little bit of money or I might make money if I get some rune drops. Uh, but all in all, this is the very profitable method in free-to-play and you can get your combat stats up as well. So we're gonna be maging here until 55 magic. I think this is where I'm going to end the episode 1. Episode 1 was all about training this range up to what I wanted and now training magic to up to where I wanted. In the episode 2, I will be focusing on making money and focusing on getting these stats even higher. And uh, we're gonna be searching through all sorts of different free-to-play methods and then rating them which one is the best, which one is the worst. If you have any suggestions for this series, please do let me know in the comments what would you want to see. Do you want me to focus more on combat making uh, money making guides or do you want me to focus on free to play skills as well how to make money basically training each and every one of them i'm willing to change the series around to your liking so every single comment will be highly appreciated also if you are new feel free to subscribe i will be uploading a lot uh, in the upcoming days so with that being said hopefully you guys enjoyed and i'll see you again hopefully tomorrow bye bye